I'm sure you can see the colour difference between this much newer, cleaner beeswax compared to ugh, this stuff. So, not only is it old, it has been used for the bee cocoons. So this is where the bees pupate. This, by the way, has only been used, looks like only been used for honey and pollen. Now this is very old, and if you look at these little bits here, let's see if I can get a little zoom in, this sort of papery like substance in here is not actually wax. See that? That's not actually beeswax. That is very, 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 very thin layers of the cocoon that the bees have spun around them. The pupae, the larvae turns into a pupae, spins a cocoon. That there, that's pretty thin, it builds up and builds up. And look at it, see all the papery, there you go, you can pull it off. That very, very thin papery, look at that. It builds up and builds up inside the cells. So it dirties them. It also, believe it or not, makes after that because it builds up so much it makes these cells inside here smaller and smaller and smaller with that build up because bees go from egg to hatching in only 21 days so every 21 days a bee hatches out and leaves a little tiny bit of this cocoon left and it builds up and you get smaller cells and if you leave it too long you'll actually get small bees because this is where they grow and if they don't have the room to grow they get small bees Thank you.